Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we will discuss about a page replacement algorithm that is the best among all the page replacement algorithm that exist during the page replacement and page fault. One use of the discovery of Belladis anomaly was to search an algorithm that is named as Optimal Minimum Search Replacement Algorithm. This page replacement algorithm produces the lowest page fault that can be occurred with any of the page replacement algorithm. This optimal replacement algorithm is often referred as OPT or MNT. Now it uses a strategy that the page will be replaced now which will be not used for the most of time. So we need a future implementation and future information that when the page will not be used. We have to calculate the amount of number of frames that the page will not be used and the largest number of frames that is not be used will be replaced first. So in this way we can produce the optimal page replacement algorithm and calculate the page fault. Let us consider the reference string as we have described in FIFO. The number of page fault for FIFO was 15. Now let us see that what happens with the optimal page replacement algorithm. Here we are also taking three available frames at the page. For the first three phrases in this reference string, all will occur a page fault because no pages are available in the frame. Now as 2 is appearing in the system, so we need to count among the 7, 0 and 1 which are present in the frame that which will be not used for the most of the time. So 2 is causing a page fault. Now we will count till when 7 will be used, 0 will be used and 1 will be used. As we can see from the reference string that 7 is appearing nearly very last. Among the 0, 1 which are repeating near about and before the 7. So 7 is the one in this page which is with the one which will be not used for a longer time. So 7 will be replaced with 2. Now 0 will not cause a page fault as 0 is already there. Now for 3 it will definitely cause a page fault so we will calculate again from 2, 0 and 1 which will be appear the longer time. So as we can see 2 is appearing here, 0 is appearing here and 1 is appearing here. So 1 is the one that will appear at the most. So we will replace 3 with 1. Now again 0 is appearing, so it will not cause a page fault because 0 is already there. Now when 4 is appearing, it will cause a page fault. Which one is the next that will not be used for a longer time between 2, 0 and 3? As you can see, 2 is appearing immediately next, 3 is appearing then and after that 0. So now 0 becomes the longer one that will not be used. So we will replace this 4 with 0. Now 2 is appearing and it will not cause a page fault as 2 is already there. After the 3 also appearing and it will also not cause a page fault. Now when 0 is appearing, so among 2, 4 and 3 we need to choose the 1. So for 0 is appearing, we need that 2 is the first one to appear before that 3 is appearing and 4 is not appearing at all. So 4 is the one to be need to replace. So I will replace this 4 with 0. After that 3 and 2 both are prior. So it will not cause a page fault. After that 1 is appearing and it is called a page fault. So between 2, 0 and 3, 2 is appearing first, 0 is appearing next and 3 is not appearing. So 3 will get a page fault and 3 will be replaced. So for the next 2, 0 and 1, they all have this 2, 0 and 1. 
Now when 7 is appearing, we can see that 0 and 1 are the appearing next and 2 is not appearing at all. So 7 will be page faulted with this 2. So finally 0 and 1 will not cause an page fault. Here we can see that the number of page faults are only 9, which is less than the half of the number of FIFO. No other replacement algorithm can provide less than 9 page fault for this reference string. So optimal page replacement is the best one. But one disadvantage that is associated with this optimal page replacement is that the future knowledge of when the sequence string or the page will appear in the reference string need to be given prior before the page replacement algorithm. So this will cost an extra overhead of kicking the information ahead. As a result, optimal page replacement algorithm is used only for the comparison or study. But in actual usage, as it is difficult to implement because we have to count the number of provided pages that will not be used for a longer time. So only 12.3 or between 4.7% of time, the operating system uses this optimal page replacement algorithm. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda.